Hello, my name is Eva. Oh no. Well spoken. I'm Justin. The word made flesh, literary tattoos from bookworms worldwide. We are both very committed to literature and the literary world. And both becoming increasingly interested in what we saw as this emerging phenomenon of the mainstreaming of tattoos. The idea for doing a book that was both about literature and about tattoos really came from just seeing people around us with literary tattoos and recognizing that that was something going on and it was a trend and a really interesting trend. I have very clear memories of growing up and hearing that lecture from you know the parents. You don't ever get a tattoo because then you can never get a real job. The fact that I've devoted most of my life to not having a real job, notwithstanding, many people I know have real jobs. Many of them have tattoos. You know, here's something that's supposedly very low culture, then something supposedly very highbrow literature, and here are the two together, and that's interesting and that's fun. The first thing we did was put up this blog post on HTML Giant. And so I put up this call for submissions. Much to our surprise and delight, the first submission came in that same afternoon, I mean, within two or three hours. Certainly it's a photo book, it's a book of photos. It's an anthology. For many of the tattoos, you can read the, the lines of poetry or last lines of novels that people chose to tattoo on themselves. A kind of another aspect of the book that I think is really interesting is it functions as not just a book of tattoos, but as a book of self-portraits. The stories that come with each tattoo and the things people say about why they got the tattoo, what it means to them. There's a kind of a cool connection, I think, between the text on the page becoming text on the body. That's kind of a natural reaction to realizing that the self is always changing and isn't permanent. As part of the proposal for the tattoo book, we promised to get literary tattoos ourselves. be getting a tattoo that comes from a poem by the Russian poet Daniel Karms. It is a pair of boxes that come from his poem before coming to see you. <laughs> the poem I'm using was I think written for his first wife whose initials were also E and T. The rectangles he would draw were the E and the T that represent a window and a doorway. And I think for each person who gets a tattoo, there are several meanings. You should think about what tattoo you're getting. You should choose it carefully and draw it on yourself and walk around with it and look at it and see how you, how you like it. The Word Made Flesh will be published October 12th of 2010. We've got a Tumblr page, TattooLit.com, and a Facebook and a Twitter. We're planning on having new literary tattoos added to the blog every day. And if not a photo of a tattoo, then a tattooable quote, perhaps inspiration for your next tattoo. I want you and I'm never going to let you get away from me. Hear what I tell you. I'm the man for you, and so you better start to face it. If you ever lose my love, you know you never can replace it. I think it's time for you to start to giving me some love. And